I'll teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube in 8 minutes or less. This is my method of how to solve it and when I was like 12 or 13 I solved my first Rubik's Cube which then became my obsession and my record was 11 and a half seconds to solve it. Now I can only scrape the 30 seconds but I wanted to show you how to solve a Rubik's Cube which is a base for a lot of puzzles that you'll ever solve and also a lot of twisty puzzles. Knowing the algorithms of a Rubik's Cube will help you solve many more puzzles and learning the perspective of how to solve a Rubik's Cube will also open you up for new techniques in solving different puzzles. So let's begin. Before we start the solution, we need to know how each piece behaves on the cube. First, there are center pieces and no matter what I do with the cube, the center pieces stay in the same place. The white center piece has the yellow in front, the red has the orange and the blue has the green one in front always. Now there's the edge pieces. Edge pieces move from edge to edge and edge piece can never come to a corner because it's on the edge and it can turn to different directions and you can also swap the edge like so. Then there's the corner pieces which also go from corner to corner. Watch this piece as I rotate it from place to place and from side to side. It always stays on the corner but flips to different directions. And that's the basis. Now that you know this, we are ready to create our first cross. I usually pick the white side for the cross and the single thing you have to follow is to make sure that the cross is white on the top and on the side it has to have the same colors like the centerpiece near it. The white needs to have blue in it so I'm gonna take the white blue edge piece and put it right here by rotating the blue side twice. Now I'm gonna do the same and the way we're gonna do it is to find the piece. I'm gonna have it stick to the center of the other color that's not white and rotate it until I've got it connected with the white center piece. Let's do it with the orange one. I'm gonna take it here, connect it with the orange and connect it with white. But doing so, now the white blue edge piece is on the side. So I have to take it back to the center. And same thing with the red one. It's connected here and now we have this cross. The next step is to take the corner pieces and put them inside this cross. There's another method called F2L here which we'll not get into, which lets you connect a corner and an edge piece. Here this is the basic beginner's method. So I found a piece which is white, green and orange. The only place it can go into is here, near the white cross and between the white, orange and green centers. To put it inside, I'm gonna rotate the white and green piece right here and connect the white, orange, green corner to it and put it inside. I'm gonna do this again with each of the pieces. And now that I have all of them in place, we have in fact the white layer complete. Now we're gonna kind of like color the whole cube from bottom to top. We can leave the white side on the bottom from now on. We're gonna do the second layer now. Let's try to find the orange and blue edge piece. I'm gonna take this orange and blue edge piece and I need to put it right here. To do this there's an algorithm that I'll put on the screen. You're gonna look at the side that is the same color as your edge that you need to put and if you need to put it on the left there's an algorithm you need to follow. I understand it by rotating the edge piece, moving up the corner piece here, then you're gonna move it back the edge and the corner piece, move back the corner piece down which then connects it with the edge, move the edge with the corner to the side, then you are taking the white and blue edge which is the edge piece where you need to connect the now connected corner and edge piece. I'm gonna take it up and connect the white corner to the white edge piece on the bottom and put everything back. I'm gonna do the same with another piece. This here is the same algorithm. And sometimes you're gonna have pieces like this stuck between the center pieces and if it's an edge that needs to be in another edge from the second layer, you just do the same algorithm and remove it. 
Now to the right side, I'm gonna do the algorithm for the second side, which goes like this and also goes by the same rule as before. And as you can see now it's inside, I'm gonna do the same thing here. And now we're on the top piece. You need to first make a yellow cross from the top side. This can also be a red cross if you started with an orange cross at the beginning, but I usually start with the white. Here you're only looking at the edges and you need that all the edges on top will be yellow. It doesn't matter if the edges are in their correct position yet. I'm gonna look at the top piece. I can see that there's two edges in the correct orientation and two edges that are flipped. So from here I've got an algorithm to flip the edges on bottom and on the right and the second algorithm you need to know is an algorithm for a line and this algorithm is different than the previous one and it flips the bottom and top pieces of this side now that we've got this we need to flip all the corners the classic algorithm is the plus with one corner in it there's many different variations here as well, but what you can do before a start is to learn the most basic algorithm, which is this one. Doing this actually flips three of the corners. You can flip corners until you achieve this position, which is the cross with one corner on the left. When you do this algorithm from here, you have solved the top part of the cube. The last thing you need to do to solve the Rubik's cube is now to put all the pieces that you just put in the correct orientation to the correct positions. As you can see, some of the corners and edges are in their correct positions and some aren't. I'm gonna use an algorithm to swap three corners. So the way it works, I find one corner that is in the correct position and then I'm gonna go to the second corner if it's on the right, I'm doing the right algorithm. So here I've got this corner and on the next corner to it, there's the color of the opposite direction of this one. So here is orange, this is red. If I've got red near an orange, this is where I want to do this algorithm at. I'm gonna do it like this, putting everything on the description and I fixed all the corners with it. I'll do it again. And now you can see that I swap them again, which now puts it on the next side. If you want, you can learn a more advanced algorithm to do it from the flip side, to flip the corners like this. So this goes here, this here, and this here. But you can also just go to this corner again and do the algorithm twice. And still, you will be able to permeate all of the pieces, the corner pieces of the yellow part to their correct positions. From here, there's one last thing you need to do, which is to change the positions of these edge pieces. There's two algorithms that can help you here. One will swap these three pieces in front of you clockwise, and the other one will swap it counterclockwise. This has to go here, and this here, and this here, which means the pieces have to move clockwise for me to solve the puzzle. So I'm gonna do an algorithm for a clockwise rotation, and the puzzle is solved. The algorithm can also be reversed if you need to do it counterclockwise. But also if you see that the pieces need to be moved counterclockwise, this edge has to go here, this here, and this right here. Then you can also execute the same algorithm two times. Notice that when you do it, you are facing the front face, not the yellow one, but the one with the center piece that is between the edges swapped. So I'm looking from here and executing the algorithm twice and the Rubik's Cube is solved. If you enjoyed this guide, leave a like and subscribe to this channel and share it with a friend that wants to learn how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Click here to watch me solve one of the hardest Rubik's Cube mods in the world.